ओं नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओं नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओं नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय नारायण नमस्कृत नरं चरोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जय मुदीर नष्ट प्रायसु अभद्रेशु नि भागवत सेवया भगवती उत्तम श्लोके भक्तिर्भवतीडिंग फ्रॉम भगवदगीता चैप्टर सेवेंटीन uh title the divisions of faith verse number 20 datavyam iti yad danam datavyam iti yad danam diyate anupakarine diyate anupakarine dese kale cha patre cha दीयते अनुपकारिने देश काले च पात्रे च दीयते अनुपकारिने देश काले च पात्रे चीश देश काले च पात्रे चाद बाय वर्ड मीनिंग दातव्य वर्थ गिविंग दातव्य दस इरेस्पेक्टिव ऑफ रिटर्न दे से इन ए प्रॉपर प्लेस काले एट ए प्रॉपर टाइम इन द मोड ऑफ गुडनेस इन द मोड ऑफ गुडनेस प्रथम Smritam. Smritam. Is considered. Is considered. Translation by His Divine Grace, Sri Bhakti Vedanta Swami Prabhupada Swami Prabhupada ki jai. Prabhupada ki jai. Charity given out of duty. Charity given out of duty. Without expectation of return. Without expectation of return. At the proper time. At the proper time. And place. And place. To a worthy person. to a worthy person. person is considered is considered to be in the mode of goodness to be in the mode of goodness any prabhu ji or mata ji would like to read the purport by his divine grace sri bhakti vedanta swami prabhupada swami prabhupada ki jai in the vedic literature charity given to a person engaged in spiritual activities is recommended there is no recommendation for giving charity indiscriminately spiritual perfection is always a consideration the for charity is recommended to be given at a place of pilgrimage and at a lunar or a solar eclipse or at the end of the month or to a qualified brahman or a vaishnava devotee or in the temples such charity should be given without any consideration of return charity to the poor is sometimes given out of compassion but if a poor is not worth giving charity to then there is no spiritual advancement in other words indiscriminate charity is not recommended in the vedic literature thank you prabhu 
let's all chant together om agyana timirandasya gyananjana shalakaya chakshur mulitam yena tasmay sri gurave namo sri chaitanya manovistam stapitam yena bhutale swayam rupakatam aiham dadati swapatantikam bandeham sri guru sri utapadakamalam sri guru vaishnavamsha sri rupam sagrajatam sagana ragunatham vitam tam sajivam sadvitam savadutam parijana sahitam krishna chaitanya devam sri radha krishna padan sagana lalita sri vishakha vitam sha he krishna karuna sindhu dina bandhu jagatpate gopesha gopika kanta radha kanta namastute tapta kanchana gaurangi radhe vrindavaneshwari prashabhanu sute devi pranamami hari priye vancha kalpataru vishya kripa sindhu vai vacha patitana pavanevya vaishnavivyo namo namo jay sri krishna chaitanya prabhu nityananda श्रीअद्वैत गदाधर शिवास आदि गौर भक्त वृंद हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्णा हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे लाचल निवास नित्याय परमात्मा बलभद्र सुभद्राभ्या जगन्नाथ आय दिन सो थैंक यू सो मच फॉर ज्वाइनिंग दिस वंडरफुल संघा एवरी सैटरडे वेर वी डिस्कस वर्ड्स बाय वर्ड्स द टॉप वन एट वर्सेस फ्रॉम भगवद गीता एंड इन दिस वर्ड्स uh krishna is talking about charity and charity in various different modes and specifically in the 20th verse krishna is talking about charity in the mode of goodness so this chapter talks about so many things it it talks about worship in mode of goodness passion ignorance it talks about sacrifices and now we are at a point where krishna is talking about charity and which is very very important for us in a day to day life uh, there is uh, mentioned by krishna is sthana kala patra so this is a very use concept which is talks about sthana sthana or dese in a proper place kala at a proper time and patra at a suitable person so whenever we talk about this say for example you are having somebody who is very thirsty and you have happen to have water at that point in time at that point in time the need for that person for water is at the optimal highest point of need at that time the water can be perceived to be more than thousands of dollars if that person is about to die and that person is dying with the water that is worth his life which is more than a million dollars so the value of a thing is depends on place time and circumstance so it is very important which where krishna is krishna here is talking about something which is very dear to our hearts in terms of how we should deal our life anything we end up doing any help you want to give to somebody your friend your parents or your brother or sister or whatever the case may be there has to be a consideration of sthana kala patra or dese kala patra wherein you talk about the place time and circumstance and and krishna is talking very common sensical way as to what is the concept of charity when it is done with the mode of goodness and here the goodness angle is without expecting anything in return so whenever we end up doing charity if we start expecting something in return that is just like going to one of the departmental stores one of the grocery stores so you give something you expect something in return so that becomes doesn't become that's not charity that's basically you are ending up doing a transaction charity is not a transaction charity is you, you, your heart has melted to the extent that you are now ready to make a call so krishna is beautifully explaining different aspects of charity as to why sthana kala patra is important as uh, they say दातव्यम इति यद दानम दीयते अनुपकारिने देशे काले च पात्रित और स्थान काल पात्र 
That means place, time, and circumstance is very important in our charity because of the same example we talked about, the value of water in a place where there's enough water is abundant is not valuable, but in a desert, the value of water is significant. People buy to get water. So at, in, a, in a Krishna conscious life, if we have recognized the importance of Sthana Kalapatra and you apply that not just in charity, everywhere, the way you want to end up helping somebody, the, the time at which your kids need you, if you behave in a certain way, you, you create an imprint in their lives. If you do not end up doing that and you try to give that kind of behavior when the time has passed, you've lost it. That's the reason why whenever you have a state of mind in terms of you are in your youth or you are in your early married life or you, you are in a, in, a, in a young family and you are a middle-aged family and you are a senior family, at the time the requirements are very different. So that's why Krishna is emphasizing the importance of timing. So whenever you play any game, cricket or whatever, it's all about timing. You'll see the people are not heavily built, but they have a perfect eye-hand-eye -eye coordination to hit the ball with the right timing. And with little effort, these balls go for boundaries. And that is precisely because Krishna is saying, Anything you end up doing, the sthana kala patra is important, but at the same time, the charity angle of sthana kala patra is very, very important. So if somebody is in need, and if somebody you think is worth your charity, based on the scriptural references, it is going to give us the benefit. And, it, and that is why in a society, when charities are done, we always look up at those people because their hearts have melted. Whenever it comes to any festivals, we look forward to donors and giving something away from you because the human being by nature is very selfish. You'll realize that, uh, you know, whenever uh, you, you see animals, uh, they're sharing um, their things, but there are certain animals and birds they don't share anything. They keep accumulating food. They keep accumulating um, furniture. They keep accumulating not just one life. They keep accumulating for generations when they, you realize they don't need it. And that is why. It, it, so this is an introspection. This is a verse where you have to introspect as to whether you need all this you're trying to accumulate. Is sharing important in life? When you share your hearts open up. When your hearts open up, your wallet opens up. When your wallet opens up, you feel that some junk in the bank, which was residing for quite some time, is relieved and we get a breath of fresh air. So charity, in comparison to modes, is very, very important. In the next words, Krishna talks about charity with the mode of passion. In 21. So Krishna is talking in triplets in this verses. He talks about sacrifices in triplet, talks about worship in triplets, he talks about food in triplets, he talks about charity in triplets in 2021 20, 22. In 21, he's saying charity performed with an expectation of return or with a desire of fruitive results or in a grudging mood is said to be the charity in the mode of passion. So beautifully explain that how in the mode of uh, passion, how kings used to give charity, because it is, if that king has given 10 cows to a sage, this king would end up giving 20 cows in a grudgingly mood with the intent to overpower our ego. That is nothing but charity in the mode of passion. And that is nothing but whenever you see some auctions going on, somebody will be giving $1,000. Somebody will uh, overbid with $1,500 and then $2,000. So this is in a, in a, in a, typically in a mode of you know, grudging mood. You know? And so, and in the last uh, triplet in this verse, Krishna goes on to say how charity is done in a mode of ignorance in the sense charity performed with the impure mind. You're not 
the purest in your thought process, in your ability to determine whom to give and whom, whom not to give. Your mind is totally impure and it's at the improper time. That means your timing is absolutely bad to unworthy person. So in 20, Krishna talks about sthana kala patra, place, time and circumstance. And the mode of ignorance, you have no sense of place, you have no sense of timing, and you know, use no sense of the person or circumstance. And without proper attention and respect is said to be in the mode of ignorance. And so, so whenever you, you want to give something, these are some of the yardsticks you would end up thinking about when you're doing something in the mode of goodness, passion. So charity given out of duty is in the mode of goodness without expecting anything in return is in the mode of goodness at the proper time and place and the circumstance or to the person. So, so Krishna mentions that in uh, Bhagavad Gita in a different 9.27, Yat karosi, yat asnasi, yat juhosi, dadas yat, yat tapasvi kaunteya, yat tapasvasi kaunteya, tat kurusho madarpanam. That means whatever you do, whatever you eat, whatever you offer or give away, and whatever austerities you perform, do that, O son of Kunti, as an offering to me. So whenever you eat something in your house, whenever you create a plant which will give a flower, or you create some fruits in your garden. This is the summertime. You're creating a garden in your backyard. Or you have gone to some of the department stores and you've got a mango, or you've got some pears and bananas and, uh, and apples. Whatever you do, whatever you're trying to join a job, you're trying to join a master's program, or you're trying to do, go to grad school. Whatever you do, whatever good things you're trying to do, just offer it to Krishna. Krishna is saying to Arjuna, Yat karosi, adyasnasi, adjuhosi, dadasyat. And finally, it says, Madha arpanam. He doesn't tell, offer it to your grandfather. He doesn't say, offer it to the president. He says, offer it to me, Madha arpanam. Krishna, in the prior uh, verse, in a prior chapter, He's saying, just offer it to me. So whatever you try to cook, see to it that there is, it is offerable to Krishna. Krishna saying, what kind of things you have to offer? Pushpam uh, phalam toyam. You can offer flour, fruits, water. So what is offerable to Krishna? Uh, offer and eat. So, Krishna is giving a very strong yardstick and a very beautiful yardstick as to what you should off, what you should do, what you should eat, and in, in what kind of mode. So, uh, one of our uh, my Shiksha Guru says, uh, it doesn't matter what you give to Krishna. It matters how you give to Krishna. With the consciousness you end up giving, with the consciousness without anger, consciousness without ego, consciousness, wherein you are always singing about the glories of the Lord. In that mood, when you end up giving something to the Supreme, then it sticks. And what to give? Krishna talks beautifully in Srimad Bhagavatam 10.22.35. It is the duty of every living being to perform welfare activities for the benefit of others with his life, wealth, intelligence, and words. So you have got a very unique life of human being your 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 intelligence is significantly more than the animals it is mentioned that uh, this uh, manava janma is durlava is actually very precious and in this precious living being if we do not do welfare for others then there is no value of life no value of wealth no value of intelligence and words if you keep to yourself. When you let go something, when you have a happiness and you try to share, the happiness multiplies. Likewise, if you have a life, if you have wealth, if you have intelligence and words, unless and until our heart melts to give it up for a higher cause, 
then if you have some metal in your garage and you just don't use it, it will rust, it will chunk. And people will come and people will leave this world, but their value of this thing is never going to be useful to somebody. So be somebody wherein you indulge in welfare activities. You know, there are many, see, first of, first of all, we do not have the tendency. Hum, the, the way people are growing in their lives is becoming very self-centered. People are really truly be, keeping to themselves. They're not sharing. Whatever we have got in this world is by the boon of the Supreme Personality of God, Godhead. And if we have not recognized it and we are just trying to keep it to ourselves, it is, it is, first of all, it never belongs to us in the first place. And so we are in this cryptic world where we're thinking that this belongs to us and we are under this artificial notion that this belongs to us. And then we end up uh, keeping it, rusting it in our uh, garage and not letting it be useful. So that's why if you share, you realize that Lord is very merciful. He will just add two, three zeros on the right and give it back to you. So the mood of serving has to be thought through from some of the principles Krishna is laying out. So, so here in this, uh, so so uh, in in Chaitan Charitamrita, uh, it's mentioned Bharata Bhumite Hoyle Manusha Janma Jar Janma Sarthaka Kari Karapara Upakar. So one who has taken birth as a human being in the land of India, Bharat Varsha, should make his life successful and work for benefit of other people. If we are not working for the benefit of other people, then we are really not helping anyone. So, so do, while giving charity, motivation should be for, should never be for Kanak, gold or Kamini, or uh, girls, or, or for um, physical uh, happiness and pratista, fame. So never go, so it is mentioned, is never go, while giving charity, never expect gold or your physical pleasure and fame. If your charity is in when you're giving charity, you want money in return. If you want some personal favors for your physical uh, satisfaction and your fame, then you're actually giving the charity with the wrong intent. You know, principally it's uh, uh, so, and always try to give charity with the intent, with a higher cause. And we have, talked about this child which is lo lost his father in affair, but we'll keep that for some other time. But the intent, you've understood that there has to be a higher cause. Uh, let's not get satisfied with some intermediate help. People go to Lakshmi temple on the day of Thursday. Uh, people go to uh, uh, people who wants a good uh, partner, bride or a, a bridegroom go to Lord Shiva on Monday. Uh, there is a higher cause which we talked about in this past time where a child has lost the father in a fair affair. When others are coming and giving him fruit juice, giving him dress uh, to wear, thinking that he, he will not, his dresses are torn. But the real intent is he is only anxious to meet his father who he has lost in a mela or a fair. As long as we have an opportunity to, to be united with our Supreme Father, which is Krishna himself, because Krishna says, Aham Bija Pratapita, he's a seed giving father, then we have truly met the objective. So, these, so give food to address hunger, give drink to quench thirst, unite with the Father, don't try to you know, tell him, you know, have this, that, but his intent is truly to meet his Father. So charity done with goodness will give us satisfaction, whether you end up doing book distribution, uh, but with the passion with, to earn name and fame, 
if for some reason you give charity and then you do not get the name but your intent was to get name and fame it leads to frustration and and charity with ignorance will give us sadness so so donate with an intent to prolong uh see most of the people they try to donate because they don't they want to sort of uh, prolong the wealth but at the end of the di uh, day uh, you cannot change the destiny of somebody else the prayer of the karma is driving one and every one we all are bound by the modes and by trying to store money is only going to give sad going to give unhappiness because you do not control the destiny of your subsequent generation they have a role to play there and uh, as parents we think or as grandparents people think that if they store uh, for the lineage they will eventually become satisfied that is they have not understood the rules of karma and that is why people who try to give their wealth to the subsequent generation but if the subsequent generation is not conscious enough that money is going to be wasted right then and there so this is a beautiful past time which we're going to talk little bit about uh, this is uh, this is a beautiful past time so which i'm going to uh this so is here we have jarasandha so jarasandha was a very powerful king so jarasandha was born uh in a very unique way but we'll not get into that we'll stay in the confines of charity so at a time when yudhishthir maharaj was there is yagya and every king around the jurisdiction of yudhishthir maharaj have to take uh um uh, take a situation wherein they have to follow yudhishthir maharaj and there is a yagya which is done to get uh, the kings under yudhishthir maharaj under the the confines of the ruling administration so jarasandha at the time was very popular very powerful and it was before the kurukshetra war so in order for uh, jarasandha to be under the tutelage or the, the ruling uh, monarchy of yudhishthir maharaj Uh, he has to be told that hey take our um, submission or submit unto us uh, so what happened was lord krishna along with arjuna and bhima they went in the disguise of a of a brahmana so they went they taught them uh, it, they had a wonderful vedic discussion they gave uh, uh, vedas uh, the knowledge of the vedas to them and uh, and when the uh, vedas were collated jarasandha was also there are wrong angles to jarasandha and there are also some very positive views of jarasandha some of the demoniac personalities ravana was a great brahmana karna was a great donor charitable person jarasandha was a great uh, ch charitable person as well but they all had vices ravana had a big uh, uh, weakness for passion karna had a very weakness for the words he has given to duryodhana and jarasandha was a very demoniac person he was to to trouble but he has good qualities so it's like some of the new characters you would see in various different uh, uh, medias so he heard the brahmanical personalities giving him and he asked them what can we give you then the three of them said we want you to fight with us that's a 
promise and you are, you, you are basically promised to a Brahmin. So the promise is to, you have to showcase your fighting capability. So Jarasandha said, you know, the other two, Krishna and Arjuna, they were looking a bit uh, slim, but Bhima was looking very powerful. Then he says, I'm going to, I've given you the word and I'm going to fight with you. So he picked Bhima and that was Krishna's plans that Krishna knew that only Bhima through his valor can really wrestle him out and fight him. Uh, so there was a huge wrestling match which went on. And, uh, you know, he, uh, then uh, Bhima used to cut him uh, and into two pieces and the, the two pieces would join with the conjoint twins and then he'll be back again. And then Krishna gave him the sign to uh, tear him apart and but put him in a different direction so that it could not get attracted and get conjoint. Uh, so, and finally that resulted. Uh, so here, if you think about uh, from the message given by our Acharyas, Jarasandha gave the charity of valor as a promise. Uh, so, uh, and, and finally he, he lost his life because of his bad deeds and whatnot. But here, in this specific example, the so-called Jarasandha, the villain, uh, could have really left the field, could have left the field to not fight, but he chose to fight because he has given a word to these Brahmanas that he, he will fight with them. And uh, the duel finally ended and Jarasandha was, uh, was killed. So he lost his life for the charitable contribution he made to protect his valor. So there are more examples I have, but for uh, the sake of today's class and for the upcoming festivals, which are coming up, I just wanted to end here to hear your views about uh, the importance of charity in our life and how these beautiful verses of Bhagavad Gita has inspired you to be charitable and if at all if at all it has inspired you to be charitable or not and if it has inspired you how you would end up becoming charitable in your way of uh, dealing with your life so with that I'd like to end here shla prabhupad ki jai hari krishna hari krishna prabhu dhanavad pana prabhu any question, comments, any addition you might like to have to this beautiful verse? Hare Krishna, Prabhu. Convert from all glories to Shri Krishna. All glories to Him, Jagannath Prabhu. Prabhuji, very beautifully explained, especially the example you gave of the quenching thirst, the water for the quenching the thirst of a person, either who is in need of water or who is dying is a very, very suitable, Prabhuji. That is the best uh, way of explaining that uh, what, is, what is the uh, value in charity, Prabhu. Because nowadays we, we mostly run after money because that's our first and foremost criteria. Because of the Kali Yuga, not because of it's a time, Prabhuji. It's because of the Kali Yuga. But anyway, the some key points which um, when you were explaining Prabhuji, which hit my mind was the first one Prabhuji is out of duty. Krishna clearly explicitly says you should do charity out of duty, not out of pride or expectation, right? Of course, it is a function of the time, place and circumstances. He emphasizes that. But what uh, we all should think it as, as a duty, for example, Prabhuji, my um, my focus is mainly on, um, uh, I want to give Prabhuji to run the ISKCON institution or to run the temples or to run the, uh, any good cause as you have rightly told Prabhuji for a higher cause, whatever is has a higher cause. So it is not that we are uh, generous enough to do the charity. It is because it's our duty to do the charity. Prabhuji. That is a fundamental point which we have to understand that um, like for example Prabhuji uh, in the uh, in this uh, 
um, <clears throat> uh, what is that institution on Gujarat? Um, they, um, the, they do 10% of their pay, Prabhuji. Hmm. Um, what it is not that they 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 don't grudgingly do that, Prabhuji. They do very voluntarily. They do that. Hmm. Baps, sorry, Prabhuji. Baps, mm -hmm. Baps. Um, hmm. So uh, that is one of the key point, Prabhuji, that we should consider it as our duty. We should not consider it as a a favor we are doing for the or any organization or any person we are doing the charity, Prabhuji. And uh, Krishna is also trying to tell us in this, uh, through other verses you have quoted Prabhuji that this charity is not for his, not for Krishna's benefit Prabhuji. He doesn't need anything from us. We all know that he doesn't need anything from us. But what, why he is emphasizing on the charity that to in the mood of goodness as a duty and a function of time, place and circumstances because this is one which triggers your consciousness of the bodily consciousness of mine, I, ours, right? This we transcend this consciousness by by giving, by sharing with what we work hard. And as you have rightly pointed out, Prabhuji, it may not in the in the uh, Jarasandhas, it may not be always the money. It is it is also the need of the time that it is sometimes it might be time sometimes it might be service sometimes it might be lakshmi sometimes it might be moral mental support prabhuji that also is a charity here so by doing this uh, selflessly as i mean in the mode of goodness what is that we are we are basically doing the dialysis of our con consciousness prabhuji it is for that reason krishna is mentioning that why we should do the charity. Otherwise, um, uh, the segue to the point which I want to tell is that Prabhuji, the, when, we, when we write a check to some institution or organization, um, we may feel that, oh, there might be other places where we can do better donation or this, this money will be used first. But I want to emphasize one point to our congregation here, Prabhuji, that um this uh, we when we say krishna you are omnipresent uh, omnipresent and omnipotent and omniscient right we tell that omniscient means what uh, of late i have uh, heard from shubhvilas prabhuji that is uh, i'm trying to connect that here that omniscient means okay uh, uh, i want to you don't care, I will take the decision. You are thinking as a body yourself that I will take the decision. You you just uh, help me in executing that. Or, so we are not giving Krishna the, um, uh, we are not treating Krishna as omniscient Prabhuji. That means he knows our heart, right? He knows everything, but why we should not try to take decision. That's why our Acharyas and all, they say that whatever is, uh, we should take, them into consideration rather than our decision. What I want to tell here is Prabhuji that um, he, we should do, we should donate and give it to Krishna. We should not think, oh, I will go and donate in a uh, place of old age or something because Krishna, since we know what Krishna knows where the funds are needed, where, so if we have real trust in Krishna Prabhuji, we give it to him. He will take care of where the funds are needed Prabhuji. We don't have to take our decision uh, we we are not the ones who are deciding um, because we will be definitely little biased. But Krishna is not biased; he knows. Uh, so point is, Prabhuji, we we even while doing the donation or the charity, I want to say donation also, Prabhuji, while doing the charity, we should let Krishna decide that we should. And if we cannot decide, the simple answer is give it to Krishna. He will take care of it where, where, where the funds are needed, uh, where exactly it is needed. On the superficially, we may think it is needed for the ISKCON CNJ or something. No, he knows where the funds uh, directly or indirectly ISKCON CNJ will work out the plan or the execution of the Krishna in mobilizing those funds somewhere else if need be. So these are the two, three points which I wanted, which were, which strike me with your examples and all that, Prabhuji, I wanted to share with you. 
Yeah. Thank, Thank you so you much. much. Uh, you touched on a very important topic. Uh, um, so most of the time, uh, when you donate, uh, there have been case studies uh, where you may feel good, you may feel relieved, you may feel you are helping. So it gives you a full feel good factor. But you touched on an important topic that uh, Krishna has created this beautiful world. Krishna has uh, uh, is a seed giving father, and he is living in our heart as uh, Paramatma, who is watching our soul all the time. And uh, we have come from him. He says, Aham Bija Pradapita, and he says, Aham Sarvash Prabha, everything comes from him. We're using his face. Here, uh, we live in a world where, depending on the country rules, we pay income tax, but we do not have that sense of duty in our mind that we are living in this beautiful world and uh, this beautiful world is created by Purna Purushottam Krishna and we have no intention in our ability to give it up because uh, we have not understood the sense of duty. So in that vein, uh, charity uh, is, uh, is critical because unless we hear the duty, uh, what is going to happen is uh, some of the Vedic teachings are going to decline. So people become modern and they think this religiosity and spiritualism is a old age thing and they don't teach the kids, you know, who is Ram, who is Krishna, who is Ravana, who is Brahmaji and all. So people uh, wake up and they grow in an environment which is, uh, which is not the same. And when they get to 2025, when people of different faiths come to them, they have no sense of any identity because they have truly felt the sense of identity of aligning ourselves with the spiritual power is is something like not a, a hep thing you know not a cool thing you know so what happens at the end of the day this lack of duty in our ability to invest in spiritualism in uh, the service of the supreme personality of god at krishna eventually makes us to lose our identity and that's the reason why the kids are becoming, uh, and, and that is where uh, Iskon of Silicon Valley, uh, by Sasika Prabhu, uh, I was following him in Sadhu Sangha in Dallas, and then I was also following him in New York City. Um, I didn't meet him, but I was just following his works. He is investing a lot in arousing that sense of duty in kids, which is important. Otherwise, a time will come everybody will forget because human beings memory is short our attention span is short everybody will forget that there is something called spiritualism and i don't want to talk about some of this news which is coming out uh, where you know people are brainwashed and all that that's a different thing we are not really bothered about but it touches on a very important topic of duty and if you do not uh, give or invest in your sense of duty you'd lose your identity and that's a very scary thing. So I just wanted to add that. Uh, any other uh, question or comments, uh, Prabhu? Uh, thank you so Prabhu, much for sharing. That point, I, um, when, since you are, when we are telling that, I, well, the classic, the Kerala story is a classic um, example and a classic manifestation of not uh, uh, knowing what the dharma is, Prabhuji, what dharma is, right? That's why um, they could break, they could uh, um, influence the uh, influence the people that what is in your religion and because they don't know their religion itself so um, they could have so it is our for fundamental duty to know the absolute Prabhuji. Religion can have different names but uh, if we have the knowledge of the absolute and definitely we consider Bhagavad Gita not only because we are following it is the absolute knowledge but we have to come to that level to understand that Bhagavad Gita is absolute and um, so it is very important probably the point you have touched is that the Kerala story is a classic example where we have to where it reveals that we should know what are the roots uh, all this is because of, I would say, the education system, Macaulay, what he did, Prabhuji, that is why we have lost that. Uh, there is no other reason, Prabhuji, because we have shifted from a Gurukula to a um, 
to is school system basically where we lost all these values and the identification process the identification process was taught there in the during the brahmacharya phase which we have implemented in the other three phases of the life right we uh, we should somehow get back to that prabhuji should get back to that identity crisis we are really having identity crisis here yeah thank you very yeah, much so thank you uh, and by the way i just want to disclaimer that we have no qualms with any other faith krishna prabhupa said when somebody meets and joins krishna consciousness if he is a christian he is a better christian he is a muslim he is a better christian our namachary haridas thakur where we have siddha bakul mot in jagannath puri and the samadhi near the bay of bengal on the beach there he was a muslim so we have no qualms but the intention of investing in the duty is more important it's we have nothing against anyone uh, pratap prabhu you raised your hand you want to say something yes prabhu ji uh, there are two things first thing uh, prabhu uh, i have a question uh, hari krishna prabhu ji and hari krishna everyone uh, prabhu ji uh, let's say that uh, you 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 have mentioned right uh, charity should happen at the right time right place to the right person uh so let's say that uh, somebody has i mean it's a practical example prabhu ji so let's say that there is a vaishnav uh, i mean vaishnav devotee so and somebody is giving uh, some charity to him uh but he spends in lot of uh, yagya or havan for you know karmic people and also devotees uh anyone who kind of faces any problems kind of thing uh and uh, uh, he really cures prabhu ji lot of um, you know uh, devotees they face very big problems and uh, he kind of uh, to his uh, i do that prabhu ji i mean uh, i want to be very transparent so there is a devotee at mayapur prabhu ji so he conducts a lot of uh, a one Uh, so but since he is poor so i try to help him so that he can do the on the yagya every day without fail and uh, the good thing is that he does it every day most of the time for guru maharaj's help so for his better help but sometimes he does uh, a one for karmic people also who has uh, kind of got into some due to their karmic reaction got some accident and others and to be honest he is uh, he does it so powerfully even somebody from many people came back from icu also so i asked him once uh, you know uh, so don't you think that if uh, there was a different meaning for karma let's say that uh, due to someone's uh, past mistake he should have been kind of going through uh, a very bad experience and you are doing it and you are uh, remediating it so don't you think uh, it's kind of uh, playing with uh, you know uh, with whatever the plan of uh, supreme lord so in those cases prabhu ji do you think there is an impact on whoever kind of helping him to perform those uh, you know remedial measures do you think uh, that is also a negative impact see uh, prabhu ji sanskara is a very important thing in our life and the yagya uh, what your uh, what the recipient of your donation is uh, doing is important but uh, see it's a very specific question we can take it offline in the sense uh, we have gurukulas uh, in mayapur and other places where they uh, learn purusha sukta they do havan and they do yagya so your Uh, affinity towards spiritualism krishna is multi dimensional krishna's actions opulence is multi dimensional so the yagya is a sanskara and uh, he is trying to help uh, by eradicating and calling out to the supreme and the various different uh, divine uh, personalities so whether you should give charity or not you know we can talk offline and be specific about your thing but the principles says that 
uh, there is nothing wrong in supporting uh, somebody who is doing yagya because he is not doing black magic he is not hurting anyone he is not uh, he is trying to do it actually in uh, dwapar and trita yug the yagya was very common it was done uh, to please the Uh, divine uh, departments of the supreme personality of god it like power and they they don't get rain they used to call out to indra so but the point is uh, prabhu at the end of the day uh, the focus is uh, krishna says you don't have to go through all of that uh, you have to just call out to me you surrender on to me and he is going to give so so as it is specific we will uh, have a one on one but uh, what is your other comment you wanted to yeah, do yeah the other com- a comment prabhu ji on the uh, on those things that uh, uh, bhakti ratnakar prabhu was mentioning for uh, kirana story kind of thing so i was just uh, going through uh, one of the video from uh, uh, iskon bombay so one of the prabhu ji was saying that uh, the problem that if anyone is getting converted uh, from one religion specifically from our religion so it is because of the problem lies with the parents mm. because we fail to educate educate our children uh, about w- what is krishna what is ram and why krishna has uh, you know so many uh, you know uh, vibes and what was the things the devotional uh, things that we fail to educate them and so they fail to argue it with those people who wanted to convert them because they were never having any answer to those questions so that is where we failed as a kind of religion uh, but somehow we are blaming others but uh, i think the it nice with us that we fail to educate our children and everyone right so uh, one thing i would say to that uh, comment prabhu is uh, is uh, if you look at shrimad bhagavatam for example there is heroism at every verse and every step of the way you know thinking about you know uh, lakshman ji who is a very he is he he epitomizes he is a he is a angry young man with uh, uh, with the purity and when uh, mother sita maya's jewelries were given to be shown to lakshman ji to identify whether they belong to sitamaya lakshman ji said i have never seen sitamaya in the face so i couldn't recognize the jewelry so if you see the heroism he is angry man personified he has purity intensified he is actually a hero if you think about it and but we don't look at lakshman ji we look at the young angry man Uh, of the silver screen and we you, you idealize him we have hanuman ji who can you know scare the <laughs> the entire community of sri lanka by his action but still not kill everybody to just intense so here hanuman ji is actually a heroic personality we have so many heroes we have ram ji is, is just ram ji goes to the place of the enemy to kill him big and come back see krishna uh, is uh, dancing on kaliya to not kill him but to take the poison out so we have heroism everywhere but we never but instead of that what we are doing we are trying to make somebody like terminator our hero we are trying yes. to make somebody like indiana jones hero so this is where more uh, 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 scripture in our day to day life more bhagavad gita discussion during our during our bhakti vrikshan is is going to really sort of uh, uh, go a long way so every kid you have every kid you all are having just give them that heroism in our scriptures and they will not look further into the silver screen bollywood hollywood 
Hollywood or whatever. Okay, Prabhu. Thank you so much. Any other comments and questions, Prabhu? So Priyanka Mataji, uh, Govil Mataji, uh, Niranjan Prabhu, Trulloki Prabhu, it's great to see you back and hear you because long time we couldn't do it because of so many long weekend Snanyatra related gaps, but uh, you joining and, and trying to hear and participate in the Bhagavad Gita discussion, hopefully is making your life better. Any comments from you, Prabhuji's, Mataji's? Yeah, everyone is a bit quiet today. Hare Krishna, Prabhuji. Hare Krishna, Mataji. How is everything and uh, how is, uh, are you liking the Bhagavad Gita discussion oh, yeah. we're doing. Yeah, yeah, definitely, Prabhuji. I couldn't join sometimes uh, due to some medical emergencies, but yeah. Yeah, I, I after joining these sessions, I could like improve on so many other things uh, from the chapters which I have learned from the time I joined. I mean, it changed my perspective as well on uh, the, uh, how you should uh, uh, behave or how you should... Uh, even today about the charity as well. Yeah. So um, uh, nowadays, like uh, to uh, adding to the points, like nowadays, uh, even the kids, uh, they are just going to school and uh, coming back, but there is no platform like where they could learn uh, uh, about the spiritual things. I think uh, only the parents should educate them. Mm. So, so Mataji, if I may interject, we have uh, September to June, uh, we have Sunday, Vedic Sunday School. Uh, Govinda Nandani Mataji is our principal and Devki Nandan Prabhu is our director. Uh, Vedic Sunday School, they have enrollments. So it's age appropriate. There are like five, six different schools, different uh, classrooms uh, within the Sunday School. So I would encourage you to Enroll them. Uh, Prabhuji, Prabhuji Priyanka Mataji is from India. No, no. Oh, you are from India, Mataji. So thank you for joining. It's so early in the morning, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But that's a good time to uh, what you say, learn these things. Yeah, yeah. That's also true, Brahma Murtha for you. So Priyanka Mataji, in uh, where you are, wherever you are located, I don't know where, like it's gone Hyderabad or it's gone Calcutta or Bombay. Yeah, there I'm is definitely Hyderabad. You're no, in Hyderabad. No, I, okay. Uh, I, no, I don't have kids, but uh, uh, I was thinking of the fact that my parents have enrolled me in an early age uh, uh, to do the service or uh, uh, not in the ISKCON, but uh, uh, yeah, in the other platforms hmm. to do the service or do, to learn the spiritual things, uh, how you should chant or how you should uh, do the mantras, everything. Hmm. Like I felt grateful after uh, attending today's session that uh, they have done like very good thing to me at an early age. Yeah, very nice. So, so Madhaji, you encourage everybody uh, to be part of this. Uh, on online, Madhaji, uh, try to enroll in uh, Bhakti Sastri course of uh, Bhakti Vedanta. Uh, this is, there is this uh, ISKCON uh, Vada uh, our eco village, they have a, uh, they have, uh, huh, Bhakti Vedanta Vidyapit. Uh, Gauranga Darshan Prabhu, uh, he teaches. You know, you'll be, uh, you'll be amazed to see uh, this little, little kids reciting sloka with so much of purity, with so much of simplicity, with so much of uh, naive, but so beautifully. Uh, and it's a very inspiring thing, uh, Mataji. Bhakti Vedanta Vidyapit. Goranga Darshan Das. Um, uh, just it's all on Zoom. Uh, encourage your relatives, your uh, because you are a messenger of uh, uh, Bhagavad Gita to them. So uh, give them those things, and they have uh, classes. Actually, my wife is now doing Bhakti Vaibhav, so I know because in some class I hear how sweetly these kids, Krishna. 
uh, his beautiful kids, uh, six years, seven years, they're reciting. So there is there is a lot of hope. So just encourage them to join Bhakti Vedanta Vidya Feet. Uh, the web. If you Google, you'll get some, and, and it's really yeah. very uh, particular. They teach you how to uh, do the slokas, and it's very very beneficial. More we propagate, more we become messenger. All these uh, things will not happen as we're discussing. Prabhuji, mm -hmm. I want to um, add to that point what you have told. The latest off late, I have realized, I have uh, came to an um, knowledge that Prabhuji, previously, as uh, we all know, there were no books, Prabhuji. Like they, the whole, it seems, the at least one Veda, let's not talk all four Vedas, Prabhuji. The Rig Veda has more than 10,000 verses, Prabhuji. People never, what I'm trying to tell here is that Prabhuji, we have so much of potential. Krishna has invested so much of potential in the human race that they, they without just by Shruti and Smriti, by listening and <clears throat> um, they, they, could, they could memorize the whole 10,000 verses. And it is not that only one person of the whole group, everybody used to recite. And so we have a lot of potential Prabhuji. Uh, we, we have been manifested with those potencies. So what I want to add to your point is that um, this modern education system is killing all our potencies, Prabhuji. Um, uh, so we should definitely learn the, the what I want to tell is the ucharan, the, 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 the phonetics, the ucharan and all, they are, Krishna has designed them to produce right vibrations in the body so that your health, your mind, and your consciousness are all purified. So there is a lot of science behind it, Prabhuji. So we should try to um, yeah, um, understand and implement that, Prabhuji. That is what I want to just add. Yeah. Thank you. Prabhuji. Thank you, Prabhuji. Yeah. Thank you, Babaji. Any other comments? Uh, uh Prabhu, Govil Mataji, Niranjan Prabhu, before we end. Prabhuji, one just one last question. Uh, Prabhuji, uh, is there any book uh, called Srimad, uh, I mean Bhagavatam Mahatmyam or something related to that? Amiskan. Bhagavat Mahatmya, Srimad Bhagavatam? Yeah. Mahatmya? Uh, Yes, Bhag yeah, not Srimad Bhagavatam, Bhagavatam Mah Mahatmya, I think. Prabhuji, uh, there is definitely a book, uh, but I want to say something, Prabhu. Okay. If you want a concise Srimad Bhagavatam, uh -huh. and you do not want to go through the 18 cantos, eight, uh, sorry, 12 cantos and 18,000 verses of Srimad Bhagavatam, Gauranga Darshan Prabhu, has okay. written Bhagavat Srimad Bhagavatam Subodhini. Subodhini, you know, okay. Subodhini. Subodhini means uh, the it will be into like hundred pages each for canto. You you can get all the twelve cantos. It's av available in Amazon in. Okay. It's a beautiful. Uh, if you don't have time, you, uh, I encourage you to join our six thirty to seven o'clock temple. We are now in chapter 3. Mother Devahuti is getting married to Kartama Muni and how Kartama Muni is powerful enough uh, to create an aeroplane for Mother Devahuti. Mm -hmm. Mother Devahuti is actually um, uh, Emperor Manu's daughter. Emperor Manu and Satarupa's daughter is Mother Devahuti. How Devahuti, a princess, is getting married to a sage and from the progeny Kapiladev, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, appears. Beautiful uh, discussion, 6.30 to 7 every day in our temple channel. I sometimes said it. I am also a speaker. Uh, but uh, if you don't have time and you want to... Because every sloka, it will take 18,000 weeks, right? 18,000 days, which is into 20 years. But if you want a smaller, concise, it's called Srimad Bhagavatam Subodhini by Gauranga Darshan Prabhu. It's available in Amazon.in. Got and uh, Gorang Darshan Prabhu for the for uh, we are very fortunate that Gorang Darshan Prabhu is in New Jersey coming Thursday. He will be oh. uh, hosted in some uh, 
uh, once um, you know program i'll send it in my bhagavad customer i'll first ask the organizer if i can send it share it in my bhakti bhush if uh, because we don't want to make it uh, too crowded uh, so he is in new jersey so he has written all those books uh, he is a, he is a very bright scholar with a lot of patents but he has chosen to uh, chosen to spiritualism he has left he is now living in a monastery in iskon so prata uh, prabhu you can uh, if at all i get a green signal i'll invite you through our bhakti vriksha to attend yeah, thursday evening he is in new jersey i hear there is a program being planned for him so and uh, you can take his subodhini books from um, book, very nicely written it's yeah, uh, it's it's it's, uh, it's it's very concise and you know people are not taking to spiritualism so it may not be like best bestseller but the real gems of the people who are trying to dissect shrimad bhagavatam and understand it and want to imbibe in their lives shla uh, prabhupal's big big volumes are good but if you want a smaller uh, version shrimad bhagavatam subodhini is available is that okay bro yes yes prabhu ji thank you right. also prabhu ji i want to um, add supplement to what you are telling prabhu ji there is another book on shrimad bhagavatam i'll share prabhu ji i have the soft copy of that by sutapa das um uh, he's a disciple of um uh, his divine grace um, kadamkanand swami maharaj now his name changed prabhu ji i don't know some it's a, another name i don't know. he became sanyas now so that is a 400 page book prabhu ji um and oh okay are you talking about uh, keshav maharaj no prabhu ji this is uh, sutapa das oh, i think his new name is keshav i think prabhu ji yeah uh, swayam bhagwan keshav maharaj swayam bhagwan keshav yes from yes. uk right he was sutapa das before yeah yes yeah yes yes yeah. I have a soft copy. I'll share it on this link, Prabhu ji. Um, okay. I don't know whether I can put it on WhatsApp. It's a four hundred page book, Prabhu ji. But um, you can uh, means at least I you will get the hang of the Shrimad Bhagavatam, Prabhu ji, and the way he explained and everything. And I like to read the Subodhini book which you are telling, Prabhu ji. I will also try to get hold of that also, Prabhu ji. Definitely. And uh, I have uh, uh, three or four uh, first canto one two three four. Uh, subodhini uh, prabhu if you want to borrow but i need it all the time uh, i ha- if you want to just see the structure of how it looks uh, i have one or two, two sure, so prabhu ji i will uh, along uh, maybe you are addressing it to pratap prabhu but i will also tell you because i like reading books prabhu ji so yeah okay i'll borrow one and check it out until i get it my own copy Sure, sure. Okay, bro. So we'll end here. It was a very fruitful discussion. We didn't do it for three weeks or four weeks, but when we did it, it really came out nice. Everybody spoke from the heart, and that's exactly what Bhagavad Gita is all about. It's a frequently asked question. So let's end here. Powerful uh, actual day, Rath Yatra, uh, coming up on Tuesday evening. Very, very. Uh, important day when uh, the the only time most of the time you go to temple to see the lord that's the only time a lord comes out to see his devotees very outstanding and isn't that heroism so most of the places uh, you know you'll see uh, people going to the temple but but this form of krishna as the lord of the universe he comes out it's just unthinkable you know this this is another heroism thing uh, you think about you give him so much birth bath that he falls sick unthinkable in a supreme god and when he comes out he comes out to meet his devotees oh this is just you can't get better than that if you think about it. so tuesday 6 pm lot of for devotees will be there to pull the lord into their hearts so come to temple and let's end here uh, by saying uh, offering prayers at the lotus feet of all vaishnavas saying vancha kalpa taru vishya rupa sindhu vaivacha patita nam pavane vyo vaishnavi vyo namana vaishnav vrutti ki jay shri prabhupad ki jay bhagavad gita mahagad ki jay aur prabhu namaste hari 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 hari